Hi, I'm Tamara Levitt, and today I'm going to answer the question, now that I've started meditating, how do I keep my momentum going? This is such an important question, so here are five tips and tricks to keep you on track. First, as best as you can, sit at the same time each day. Morning is an amazing time to meditate because it inspires us to bring mindfulness into the day. And also that way, you've crossed it off your list before you get swept away into busyness. But if mornings aren't your thing, that's okay. For years, I meditated in the evening as it helped me with sleep. Some people meditate on their lunch break or after work. If you're a parent, you might want to sneak in time before your kids wake up or after they go to bed. The main thing is that you find a time that works for you and that you stick to it. Even put it on your calendar. Over time, it starts to become a habit, something you'll feel drawn to do each day. Second, same time, but also same place. Try to find a quiet, cozy spot where you won't be disturbed. I've known people who have literally meditated in their closet because it's the quietest part of their home and their kids won't look for them there. If you're able to sit in the same place, you slowly build an association with it as your meditation spot, which strengthens your practice over time. Third, find a meditation buddy. Even though meditation is a solo act, there are ways to make it social and add motivation. It can be super helpful for couples and families to meditate together as it ends up building a meaningful connection. If you live alone, consider pairing up with a friend who's looking to establish a regular practice. And it doesn't have to be someone you know well or even meditate with in the same space. Maybe your meditation buddy is a fellow Calm user, and you set up a time each day to listen to the Daily Calm together. No matter who you lean on, a meditation buddy can be a source of accountability and connection. Fourth, set realistic expectations. This is so crucial. Don't fall into that trap where you set a lofty goal and then beat yourself up when you don't achieve it. Set a daily expectation that you're likely to keep and build from there. I often encourage newcomers to aim for 10 minutes a day, but even a five-minute meditation is better than nothing. At the very least, every day, commit to sitting on your cushion or chair and taking three deep breaths. That's it, just three deep breaths. Often what happens is that when we sit for those three breaths, because there's no pressure, we realize how nourishing it feels, and our sit ends up being longer. Even a short meditation is something, because you're taking a moment to connect with the intention of mindfulness. Last, on days that you're struggling to get yourself onto your cushion, remember why you took up this practice. Taking time to periodically reflect on our intentions can be a valuable way to keep momentum going or to revitalize practice if it feels stale. For many years, I posted quotes and words and pictures on my fridge and in my office to remind myself why I was pursuing this practice. So the next time you consider skipping your meditation, try taking a moment to reflect on why you took this practice up in the first place. What are those qualities and behaviors you're trying to cultivate? What habits are you trying to change? Remember that every time you prioritize your sit when it feels difficult, you're nurturing those qualities. So there you have it, your five-step toolkit. I hope it helps keep your momentum going, and happy meditating.